for years thought we had a handle on what intensity is um, from an impact load. Um, and you can kind of look at the drills and think, yeah, that's definitely going to be higher than that drill. And ultimately we're, we're there or thereabouts. But the interesting thing with the, the, the Protect system is some of the drills we didn't think were that high are actually a little bit higher. And some of those that we would have the impression were actually, they're going to be quite intense hits. We'll still get the intensity, but in shorter spurts. Uh, and then we know, you know, we've got what we need, but we haven't potentially overexposed them in our opinion to make sure they are fresh for the weekend. So we use it on game day and training from a safety point of view for, for head impacts and possible concussions or not, and how we can then instantly assess the players if they've had an impact that might be outside of their normal parameters. So within rugby, we've verified over two and a half thousand impacts now. So we know what that normative data looks like. So I know what the lowest impact might be all the way to the highest impact might be. So if we see those impacts starting to accrue for those players that are outside that normative data, uh, my direct line will be straight to the medical team. So Mike, um, that play, they will then go on and investigate that player, whether that is uh, just a run on the pitch uh, before the next break of play, or if the, uh, the impact itself does arise with a large uh, force, we can underpin that with the Hawkeye, with the pitch side doctor, and then again influence uh, the medical team to go on and check that player or even take that player off for a HIA. There's two big areas we'll look at. It's the linear force, so the, the direct through, through the line of the body, and then the rotational force that can, that can be taken as well. So you'll have some very, very high linear force on some of these guys, but they have the ability to attenuate the force. And uh, we'll run on, ask them on the pitch, how are they? And we'll be looked at blankly saying, what are you doing here asking me that question? Like they've, they've got no concerns at all. And then other ones where it might look relatively innocuous to us on the side of the field, and potentially relatively innocuous on the Hawkeye, um, but you, you know, the rotational force is relatively high and we'll go and talk to the player and you know, we're seeing signs that we need to potentially do a head injury assessment. So that's, that's the, you know, the luxury of the system and what it provides to us to look after the players. We know that the, the most intense part of the week is going to be match day. Um, so it's facilitating that recovery through the week to ensure that players are at peak performance on Saturday. So, you know, based off of the data I get in a match, I can start to work out if that contact load for that player was high or low based on their average exposures. If it's low, we know that we don't need to manipulate them and that the coaches have them for the key technical tactical areas of the week. If they've gone over their, their averages and it's quite significant load for them from a contact point of view, I can step in with the data and we can say, oh, you can only do four minutes of that drill because we know that you're gonna receive that many impacts in that zone. You can do all of this one though, because we know that the impacts are limited, but that's also the key drill for the, the coaches for today's outcome. Um, so we have the, the battery, um, obviously, which powers the mouth guard and the sensors. You have your charging coil, so the wireless charging on the outside. Um, you have your um, antenna around the front, so that allows us to uh, report live data, which is key, obviously, for game day and training. Um, you then have your um, accelerometers, on the inside, which measure uh, the, uh, the intensity uh, or the, the size of that acceleration, uh, partnered with a gyroscope so we can see um, the orientation of those impacts. Um, that then allows us to measure uh, the rotational velocity and then we can derive the head acceleration uh, rotationally from that as well. And this is the data then that informs the load that the coaches um, want to look at from the game. So how intense was this game? We can see some of the red, so I would turn around and say this is quite a, an intense game based on the amount of strong impacts we've got. If he's going in to training on a Tuesday, we need to just make sure that any types of contacts he receives is in this green bucket, so this light bucket. If coaches are doing a specific technique drill, that the likelihood of a direct head-to-head -head impact is quite low, so that player can go into that drill. If this drill is quite an open drill, the percentage of having a direct head-to-head -head impact in that drill is quite high, so we'll remove that player from that drill. It's the first real way you can you can actually monitor the load that lads are getting hit every week. So um, I really do think it's a game changer. I think the more people that can wear it, the more data that they can keep getting, the better it is for player safety, and that's ultimately what we're what we're trying to do. So sometimes you get chucked a white bib and said no no contact today, and you get to sit out and look at all the people making 20 tackles in training and think, yeah, this, I'm glad I wear this gum shield now. Um, but yeah, it's just to make sure that the, the least head knocks you can get throughout the training week and then save yourself for the game. Players come through the, the, the academy through age group categories and we want to make sure that, that they're safe to go through each grade and step up to take it to the next level. And for me personally, just looking at how we look after the players going forward, I, I 
truly believe this is the, the next step, that it should be a league-wide process. Um, and it will allow us to, not only from a welfare perspective, look after the players better, but from a performance perspective, it will allow us, again, to look after the players better in that, in that realm as well.